December 2024, the Dare County Water Department discovered damage to a critical water line located on the floor of the Roanoke Sound beneath the Washington Bomb Bridge. This 16-inch diameter, 7,500-foot-long pipe, which was originally installed in 1978, connects the Skyco Water Plant on Roanoke Island to the North Reverse Osmosis Plant located in Kill Devil Hills. This plant delivers up to 3 million gallons of water per day during the peak summer months. With the lifespan of the pipe cut short due to environmental impacts and the potential for a water line failure, Dare County made the decision to proactively replace the pipe rather than risk the chance of a complete failure occurring to this major piece of infrastructure that the county's tourism-based economy depends on. The project got underway in February 2025 and what would typically be a multi-year project was fast-tracked for completion by the end of April 2025. The $16 million waterline replacement project involved installing a new, more durable pipe, this time 80 feet beneath the sound floor to protect it from the harsh coastal environment. Made of a much thicker material than the previous pipe, the replacement waterline has a lifespan of 100 plus years. We're setting up and weaving our way back down Highway 64 with the 30-inch poly pipe. They, they fuse all that together as, as they go, other than, rather than welding, um, you're, you're fusing. So when you get done, you have an internal and an external bead that kind of rolls out when they're fusing it with the hot plates together. It, it takes, we approximately do like seven wells a day. It's, you, you have to heat it up and then it's just melted, actually melted together. It takes uh, uh, approximately an hour and 45 minutes to, to complete one. So about, we average about six to seven a day. We basically put in roughly 180 foot of 56 inch casing on this side. And basically the reason for that is because the material was just, it was just, just basically water. And, and I guess you can just say it's sloppy material. No, no texture to it whatsoever. So we drove the casing in from each side, I think 180 feet roughly on this side, 205 on the other side there. And then we had two drill rigs and they intersected in the center and uh, with a 12 inch pilot hole. And then we just step up and go bigger and bigger till we get up to approximately a 48 inch. The final fuse was made. We had to make sure that the uh, our end caps were already on it each end and we're ready to go on a pre-test. We air the pipe up between 60 and 80 pounds, let it sit for about an hour, monitor the pressures, make sure there's no leaks, uh, then delete off that air. We'll basically hook the drill stem to it. On The, the rig is sitting on the, uh, be on the east side and he'll, his stem, the stem is running completely underground there and we'll hook to it. And of course, as you can see, it's all on rollers and everything and it'll just roll right inside and it's all gotta be pulled at one time. There, there is no stopping. That's why they have to lay it along the highway. It can stop, but it's better if it don't. Anytime that you stop a bore of this size and this length, um, it has potential to get stuck. So the plan is once they start pulling that pipe, it's got to pull for, I believe they say it's gonna take them 14 to 18 hours to pull the pipe, nonstop. Um, and the fewer stops, the fewer hiccups, the better chance of success with this whole project. William being able to address the issue and mobilize this project so quickly is truly an amazing feat. You know, as a result, our local businesses, our community, and our tourism are not going to feel the strain that they would have otherwise. Um, and the other thing that's so great about the way this project was done is that there is a redundancy in plan in place. So this pipe has a 150 year lifespan, but as we know from the previous pipe, they don't always make that lifespan. Um, and we want to be sure that if, if something does happen to the pipe, there is you know, a backup plan. So this pipe was chosen at a larger diameter, large enough that it can become a casing in case something ever happens to it. So we would be able to run a new pipe in the old pipe and that pipe would still be large enough that it would be able to support the, um, the summer water demand. 